Let's talk a little weather, shall we? And uh, hey, this is pretty exciting. We have some activity on the radar, and you can see some cloud cover, uh, a few showers in the distance, even some smoke with this uh, live look up at Northern Arizona University. And uh, the radar quiet here. We're going to stay quiet through the weekend. We had the most incredible temperatures this week, and temperatures today. Once again, about uh, five to six degrees below average, but uh, up near Flagstaff, you can see some of that rain starting to creep ever closer again uh, across areas of Flagstaff. And as we mentioned, we've got a few spotty uh, fires uh, up in the high country, which is, of course, not uh, the best news, but uh, some of those showers rolling through uh, the muggy on rim. Temperature wise, we're sitting at 64 in Flagstaff, 92 in Phoenix. Uh, let's show you the wind speeds. It's not as windy, which is uh, good news as well. Seeing wind speeds at around five miles per hour in Phoenix and definitely a bit breezy up in the high country. Your high today, 95 degrees, six degrees below average. We should be at around 101 this time of year. So uh, we're going to stay very close to that this weekend. The scenario, well, we've got one low. You can see it bringing some rainfall. Northern Arizona, Utah, Colorado. That's going to slide to the east. Behind it, a weak little ridge of high pressure that will warm things up. We're talking highs in the triple digits, right where we should be. And then get this. Next week, folks, another low rolls in here. And we're back into the 90s, below average temperatures starting on Monday. Pretty fantastic. So your day in detail. Here's the way things are shaping up. Mid 70s in the morning, triple digits. We'll get close to it tomorrow. I think we'll hit 99 at around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then warming up a bit. 102 Sunday, 103 Monday, and then back into the 90s. Look at this. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah, pretty fantastic with lows in the 70s. Gotta love it. It's perfect.